This forum, organized by the European Union, Private Sector Foundation Uganda, and the Sustainable Business for Uganda platform, sought to provide entrepreneurs with vital information and insights to support the growth of their enterprises and improve their business environment. Um, Sustainable Business for Uganda is um, uh, putting together uh, an access to finance uh, portal where all the opportunities for um, um, funding and facilitation uh, coming from all development partners will be listed um, and that portal will be actually maintained by um, Sustainable Business for Uganda Secretariat. It's here that key challenges that grapple the growth and development of the MSME sector are highlighted. I have not seen a way in which we can help the extremely vulnerable communities that don't have access to financing, the kind of education we have, the market information that we have. There is no way we are going to succeed with this kind of practices. Um, you know, too much love for money without exchange for value. The, the issue of mindset change. How are we really going to, have to change the mindset of Ugandans to be ethical, to, to for example, submit clear um, uh, true financial statements. According to Professor Balunya, Uganda's rapidly growing population provides immense business opportunities, but he emphasizes the need for improvement of the SME sector for them to flourish and capture the market. Provide cheap market information, uh, and to me, it's all about educating the public, educating people in the country, keep people in schools. Provide information about technological trends, arrange financing for SMEs. Um, uh, during COVID, SMEs were supposed to go to UDB. I think that has changed since then. The European Union, a partner in development, promises more support through various facilities. Um, looking at these uh, challenges, the European Union has developed um, a portfolio of facilities which try to cater for the needs of the SMEs in terms of financing and business development services, um, depending on their stages of growth. According to analysts, Nine out of ten SMEs in Uganda fail due diligence levels and by so doing impedes on their ability to attract funders and investors as one of the ways of improving access to finance. Denis Sigor for UBC News.